we are witnessing and in, enjoy it, folks, because it's not going to last long. There is a, uh, a, a little bit of a civil war breaking out in the Republican Party, particularly in the wake of these midterms, um, where the DeSantis forces are, are coming out and trying to spread this narrative that the, the voters rejected, the Republican voters rejected Donald Trump uh, the other day. And yeah. uh, people that may being may way too gleeful with that. And I feel like there was already a template for some of these media outlets to write that up, right? Like it's just, they're trying to will it into existence as if any of these candidates are actual legitimate proxies for Trump. Trump is Trump. It, and, and, you know, I watched a little bit of the Tim Pool, Milo Yandanopoulos um, uh, interview. I don't know. And uh, Milo Yandanopoulos was just laughing. He's, he said, no one supports uh, Ron DeSantis who isn't paid to uh, support Ron DeSantis, which I think is probably somewhat accurate. But yeah. here, here is, um, here is uh, a perfect example of what's going on here. They're now, and rightfully so. They are terrified of Donald Trump announcing <laughs> before the Georgia runoff. And they should be uh, because it's going to be weird that he's not going to go there to campaign when Joe Biden, I bet, does. Um, maybe Joe Biden won't. But uh, nevertheless, it's going to be weird that he will not support his handpicked candidate in Georgia during this runoff. Here is uh, I give you Fox News, ladies and gentlemen. Say this. I do think President Biden is running, and I don't see anyone out there. We, I could name, and we've done this on radio, 12 people, talented people on the right that could run for president in the prime of their careers, uh, from Ron DeSantis to Mike Pompeo to the vice president of the United States to, to Governor Christy Nome to Governor Nikki Haley. I can't do that on the left. So that's how we got the job in the first place. There was no alternative. Now, with President Trump, I would think the first the first thing I indication I would look for to see if he was serious about being savvy and being and recalibrating on. is if he puts off his announcement Monday. <laughs> if he puts off his announcement Monday, it's putting team first. If he takes his announcement Monday, that'll show that it's so Trump centric. It's going to be playing to the DeSantis or broad scope, uh, the big jungle primary. Yeah, a lot of people would like, you know, his supporters would like to see him we get all behind Herschel Walker right now in the most helpful way possible. And, and sometimes might, might be being quiet because in Georgia he's not that be, popular. It, it might be being quiet and and also to sort of stop the <laughs> Oof. bows and arrows yeah, that be he's shooting too. at DeSantis. Right, which is insane because it's like shooting at somebody because DeSantis is so much like Trump in so many mm. ways, but different enough at 44 years old mm. to offer different front. attributes and different skill yeah, set. No, okay. So I think that a lot of people are having difficulty when you see them fight with each other that are on the right, because they say, they're, uh, I'd like them both to win. Yeah. Mm. Not possible, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> first, of all, first of all, look at, what's amazing is how they're both, well, uh, I will say that uh, Kilmeade's not tiptoeing around in the way that McCallum definitely is, right? Like she's like, well, he okay. goes there and she goes. Well, you could tell there's such nervousness and anxiety about going there because they know he's watching. Like they're speaking directly to him, and they have to be so specific in their language. And uh, I think they're also really worried because uh, I think I think they're in the back of their mind. They're like, we could really be on the outs with everybody because. Everything that they're talking about, the the only sort of people who are going to sort of pick up on the implications of Trump announcing before the runoff election are donors and Republican operatives. The people who vote, they're not going to, at least in the Republican Party, they're not going to be like, oh, I really wish uh, uh, Trump was more of a team player and didn't announce until after the, the run. They're, no, that's not the way they function. No. It's just like then no, no voters don't have that that level of generally of of savvy uh, about the implications of this, and so um, it, it it's fascinating. It's also sort of fascinating that this guy thinks that like Mike Pompeo is going to get 005 percent of the vote in the. I mean, that's like if you can come up with the name Mike Pompeo as a potential candidate for president <laughs> on the right. 
Like who could you, who would you disinclude on the left? Who would like, what Democrat wouldn't run with the same recognition of Mike Pompeo? That like, uh, you know, you could, you could run like uh, uh, some backbench congressperson from Illinois or from like, I don't know, anywhere in the country and, and have the same sort of resonance that Mike Pompeo is going to have in the, um, in the, 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 the Republican presidential election. I think the real question is going to be, does Ron DeSantis actually end up declaring? Does he mm. actually run? I mean, it, he it's will. he's, he's gone. L I mean, look at this entire like media operation that is behind him, right? His ego is too massive at this point for him to kind of take a calculated step back and, and, and just uh, keep his powder dry. The momentum is just too, uh it's it's moving too quickly for DeSantis I think to for a guy with his kind of constitution which is uh one with a very big ego and thinks highly of himself to to take so, a step back now. You guys want Sanctimonies. a truth social update? Uh, yeah, I would uh, maybe this, I'll retruth This it. is a, a tweet from um Patriot American Alpha Sauce uh mm -hmm. that uh real Donald <laughs> Trump uh <laughs> <laughs> retruths uh, i just need DeSantis to understand what we the people want we were cheated out of our vote for trump and we want trump to get his second term i hope DeSantis is not dumb and makes us not trust him by going against us or trump because dems are not going to vote for him and we don't need trump tearing him apart in debates and if he talks crap to trump he ends maga even wanting him in 2028 so let me ask you this matt um do you think that Trump was on the toilet when he was, uh, tw you know, whatever, truth in that out under his, one of his sock puppets? Yeah, I think I he's mean, on that's his gold toilet. Libtard 01 was my, <laughs> exactly. my first reaction. Uh, without so, a doubt. MAGA without Chud, a doubt. you know, sauce or whatever his name it, is. Uh, to be fair, it's probably Donald Trump Jr.'s uh, sock puppet uh, count. 